Mason's entourage is, quote, bad people. Here with a sampling of the invective. There's not much I can say, but I beat him once, and I beat him before, and I'm going to beat him again. Thank you. You caught him pretty good one shot. Very, very Did one you shot. realize that you maybe stunned him a bit? Because it was furious after that. That time I rocked him, I'm going to rock him to sleep. I hope Don King's got room in his lap. Mike Tyson is the greatest ass kicker ever lived, and that's all there is to it. Now, you can talk about anybody else you want. You can bring up all these old... Um, uh, the world loves to praise these dead people, all the dead fighters, all the Elvises and the Marilyn Monroe's. All that. We got a live ass kicker right here in 1996. In boxing, the alphabet jungle, Tyson will be fighting for Bruno. It's boxing. Bruno's WBC belt. Then there's Michael Moore, who... I'm Bill Box here at the MGM Grand Theater. This is the final press conference for the Bruno Tyson Heavyweight Championship fight on Saturday night. Now, all week long here in Las Vegas, the fighters have been elusive. The reason simply could be a matter of respect. I give you Mike Tyson. So much Mike attention Tyson. surrounds superstar Mike Tyson that it sometimes seems as if the champion, Frank Bruno, is the challenger. I'm ready to get it on. Allow me to introduce to you the heavyweight champion of the world, Frank Bruno. I promise you, I will not let you down. I come in with the belt and I'm leaving with my belt. Thank you very much and God bless you all. Come on, come on. And sadly, we're gonna find out. Bruno lashed out about the financial disparity. At the end of the day, four million pounds against 30 million dollars. You know what I mean? If I was to say I was happy, you'd say I was a liar. I'm not happy, but at the end of the day, I'm not a But then quickly person. displayed the manners that have earned him the reputation for being a gentleman. Not too many fighters get the chance of fighting for four times for the heavyweight championship of the world. Despite the fact that there was no open confrontation between the two men, it's clear they don't like each other. And you, of course, can see Bruno versus Tyson this Saturday night at 9 Eastern Time, live on pay-per-view. Well, you're right. I've got the casino right behind me, and we're just a few steps away from the sports book here at the MGM Grand, where just about everybody's been keeping an eye on the NCAA tournament today. Had some upsets there, but nobody's expecting an upset here Saturday night when Mike Tyson steps into the ring to try to take that WBC championship away from Frank Bruno. They're going to have the weigh-in here in just a little bit, but we thought it might be a good time now to take a look at the tail of the tape because there are some interesting numbers there. Oh, yeah, the fans love us here at the MGM Grand. First of all, Frank Bruno expected to come in at about 250 pounds, a lot higher than Tyson, and almost 30 pounds heavier than Bruno was when these two met for the first time back in 1989. Bruno's got the height advantage, he's got the reach advantage. He's older, yeah, but you go down and look at the records and you can see the knockouts, and you can figure out why nobody's really expecting that this fight is going to go the distance. For Mike Tyson, it's an interesting fight. His first real test since his comeback, and he goes into the fight as the challenger. I asked him what it's going to be like Saturday night when he looks across the ring at Bruno and sees that belt that Mike really wants to get. This is going to give me the inspiration to just go and rip a hole right through him and win that championship. This is a great a moment in my young life, and I'm looking forward to the opportunity, and I don't want to let it go by me. This has become personal. He's taken some shots at you and Team Tyson. Does that bother you? I, you know I me. Mean, I'm a Muslim. I never, you know I me. Mean, I have the greatest, utmost respect for every man, woman, creed, or color, regardless. You know I me. Mean, I'm just here to do a job. What about the other side of it? What about the, the patriotic side of it? Would you like to see the title unified under the American flag rather than under the Union Jack? I only love Allah. That's all I, that's all I worship. Reading back to the first fight, do you even deal with that? I mean, because he held you a lot, he hit you, you said it was the hardest you've ever been hit. I've never made that statement. I never made that statement. Um, I believe some promo made that statement. It was a good shot, but you know, he, he caught me leaning. I was leaning forward and I was a little bit off balance. You know, it was a good shot. I didn't go down or anything. I saw, I'm the only fighter, of them, all the fighters he fought and he lost to, they basically, he, he was ahead. I've dominated him for the total five rounds. He's bigger, he's heavier, he's got a reach advantage, and yet none of that seems to bother you. I'm, I'm a fighter. You know what I mean? If I was to be fight, if I was to by any chance have a fight in the street, the guy's not going to ask me, are you in shape? What's your weight? Are you ready to fight? I'm just a fighter. Big Frank Bruno, who briefly rocked Tyson when they met in 1989, says he plans to rock Tyson to sleep this time out. Charlie Steiner in Las Vegas with a preview of tomorrow's bout for the WBC title. Incredibly, it's been more than six years since Mike Tyson last fought for a title of any kind. It's been seven years since he last fought Frank Bruno. 
in that fight a feverish early pace. Is it going to be any different come Saturday night? We ask Frank Bruno. I can't really tell you how he's going to a quick pace, fast pace, slow pace. All I'm going to tell you, I'm going to win. I think I'm going to knock him out right into Don King's. Hey, lad, only in America. <laughs> you know what I mean? Quite simple. With Al Bernstein, you know, how do you interpret Frank Bruno's answer? Just before we got that answer out of him, there was a, a burst of honesty for just a millisecond in which I got the feeling he was confirming that, yes, he was going to go after Mike Tyson right away. He was going to make this as quick a pace as he possibly could earlier. And wouldn't you do that if, you, if your scouting report was the McNeely and Mathis fights where people took it to Mike Tyson, were not successful because of their skill level, you almost have to fight that fight. Why is the outcome of this fight going to be any different than it was when they first met seven years ago? Well, in truth, I don't think it's going to be different. I believe that Frank Bruno has a puncher's chance. I'll say one thing about Mike Tyson. He is like most great athletes. He rises to the occasion. I expect him to do that against Frank Bruno, even though I think Bruno will give him some trouble early. I do think Mike Tyson is going to end this fight around the same time he ended the first one. Which was five rounds, and we will be here Saturday night, right after the fight, for Al Bernstein, Charlie Sonner, ESPN at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Bruno's W.